We found Sleepy John Estes in Brownsville, Tennessee, about an hour northeast of Memphis. He had been a railroad gang leader, singing to keep the maintenance crews going. He recorded in the 30s and 40s. He went blind and suffered from narcolepsy, earning the name Sleepy. He recorded for Sun Records and was part of the country blues revival at the Newport Folk Festival in 1964. For a while, he toured Europe, but by the time we found him, he was living in poverty, playing his 60s-era silvertone guitar that he said he didn't like much. Sounds great. Do you make very much money off, off the albums you've recorded? Not too much fun getting away in there. Didn't pick that thing. Who were some of the uh, guitars and musicians you used to play with when uh, you were younger? He was and Eric Bradley. He's great. Willie Neville. He's dead. Sam Bone. He's dead. Joe Williams. He's dead. His acoustic guitar had been sold long before, and that told us we would have to prepare for that as we continued our journey. When we got to Brownsville on our modern day trip, I discovered that John Estes' house was moved to be part of an exhibit at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center. It sits right next to an old schoolhouse that is now the Tina Turner Museum. It isn't the same house we visited him in, but a worthy monument just the same. <laughs> 